Welcome to CEOs in Cars, a BC business video series sponsored by the Delari Group of Companies in which we drive around in high-performance cars with British Columbia's equally high-performing CEOs. My name is Tom Gerzimchuk, and I'm the publisher of BC Business Magazine. In this episode, I'm the co-pilot for Greg McDougall, president and founder of Harbor Air, the largest float plane airline in the world. Greg McDougall has always done things his way, whether taking his now adult daughter to help him fly when she was just two years old, to competing in the brutal BC bike race. And Harbor Air has never been hotter. With the 2012 purchase of Whistler Air and last year's expansion into wheeled charters, McDougall gave us a co-pilot's view of the BC aviation industry and what it takes to live life on your own terms as an entrepreneur. We got him to share his inspirational playbook for high-flying success in BC while behind the wheel of the 2015 Porsche Macan S, the luxury automaker's compact SUV. Think of a concentrated Cayenne. It's being provided today by the 40,000 square foot Porsche Center Vancouver at 688 Terminal Avenue. Hey Greg, welcome. Yeah. Great to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Excellent. It's a Porsche kind of day, so let's Absolutely. get started. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. first car was actually a Porsche and bought it when I was 17 years old off a gas station parking lot for 1200 bucks. <laughs> what kind was it? It's a 55 Speedster. Okay. And I still have it today. So I still have the first car I ever bought. That's so, amazing. It's pretty unusual. I, I can't say that about my Cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> so were you a pilot first or an entrepreneur first? Uh, definitely a pilot first. I uh, took my pilot's license out at Pitt Meadows. I uh, started working for a um, land development company that had a couple of airplanes, and then uh, in the 80s, when the when the um, uh, sort of recession hit, uh, these guys couldn't afford their planes anymore, so I just leased them from them and started their careers. One of the things I wanted to talk about is how has the business grown as the you know the ferry routes have have sort of uh, been paired back. Is it is it an opportunity? Is it, um, were they sort of interdependent? Um, you know, it's, I guess the ferry routes being paired back is somewhat of an opportunity to us, but you know, there's a lot of people on the ferry that will never be a seaplane customer. Yeah. However, there are also a lot of people on the ferry that really should be a seaplane customer. So, um, so they cut back in ferry service probably gives them uh, a new sort of opportunity to, to look at it and say, does this make sense for me? What are some, some other maybe up and coming and, um, and perhaps surprising destinations that are uh, doing well for you? Right, well, the course is to Gulf Islands and, uh, okay. and that, that does pretty well, but our new routes, uh, the new one to Comox is doing very well. Okay. And, uh, I don't know if people have been to Comox area lately, but you'd be pretty surprised at the amount of growth in that area and uh, uh, the amount of commerce that's going on there. And, and, and you know, certainly a lot of uh, people that have retired there and, mm -hmm. and whatever. So it's, a, it's sort of a growing area, and that connection to downtown Vancouver is doing really well. Right. So in terms of the the investment in Tantalus, um, has that that's been what about a year now? Uh, yeah, year? just a little over a year. Yeah. And is that that's not scheduled? That's leased, no. It's right? all it's all chartered. Chartered. Yeah. And. Um, it's a unique type of airplane. It's it's a turboprop that has the ability to land in short fields mm -hmm. and off uh, paved runways. We've been doing a lot of work with this uh, in the summer into fishing lodges up in the Chilcot area, yeah. landing on dirt strips. And um, but it's also an airplane that you know very comfortably takes six people to Los Angeles in three you know over three hours. So it's, it fits wow. into a very yeah. special sort of niche. Um, and do you do any seasonal routes, tourism-wise, based on? Uh, we do a lot of. Um, so Whistler is yeah. another. Uh, we, we bought Whistler Air. Actually, yes. Uh, three, three years ago. ago. Yeah. Two, yeah. Back, so two, two years ago. Yeah. Now. And so that's a um, almost well completely seasonal business mm -hmm. because the lake freezes over in Whistler. So yeah. our base up there, of course, is inoperable for about uh, I guess eight months, well, seven months of the year. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's. It's not just a transportation link, it's also a scenic uh, flight, so um, there's a lot of people that would do that flight not just to get from A to B, but just to have the experience. Right. And it's, a, it's an amazing flight. Greg, thanks very much. Thank that you. was great. That was a lot of fun. All right, take care. Yeah, you too. So we have BC Business in our... Uh, all of yeah, our that's right. That's fantastic. <laughs> we get a ton of comments from 
you know the, the captive audience on a seaplane. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's great exposure. So yeah, thank you for that. Appreciate yeah, it. No, that's good.